There's no question the pandemic impacted a lot of us in a number of ways, but local doctors I spoke with say this study is eye opening because up until now, not much has been known about its link to accelerated brain aging. The beaches, boardwalks, and parks are closed. During the pandemic, many of us experienced disruptions in our daily lives. From social isolation to reduced activities and added stress. So much so, according to a new study, it left a mark on our brains, literally. British researchers looked at brain scans from 1,000 people during and before the pandemic and compared them to scans from other people taken during normal times. The result? People's brains age nearly six months. What's already been established is anybody that had COVID, these changes are more likely to occur. Uh, but this showed that just being part of that whole experience that we all went through of isolation did physically age the brain. Dr. Eric Perkins is a neurologist with Sharp Reese Steely. He explained it's important to note that changes are slight and no cognitive decline was found. But aging brains in adults is concerning because it can lead to the early onset of dementia. He says the study reinforces what he's always told his patients regarding brain health. You want to keep your brain active by being socially active. You want to be physically active. You want to be intellectually active, along with making sure you sleep correctly, minimize exposures to things that can hurt the brain. The study found men age faster than women, noting it remains unclear whether these brain aging effects can be reversed. Maybe we can mitigate inflammatory responses so people won't develop these changes in the future. But in terms of reversing brain disease, that's very, very difficult. Dr. Michael Lardin is a psychiatrist and associate clinical professor at UCSD School of Medicine. Like Dr. Perkins, he too says this study is very telling and hopes it will lead to more research. Gives us a platform to further investigate and hopefully one day we can find a way to maybe reverse some of these changes. Meanwhile, I asked people their thoughts on the results. While some found them to be true, others aren't convinced. Living in that time period, you were kind of unsure of the future. I don't feel like my brain is aged. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.